What's up? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. Yo, I haven't made a video in like a minute, so let's just make a quick vlog, right? And let's uh, let's talk about this bike because I have I've received a lot of electric bikes, but this one that I've received here is much, much, much different than all the rest I've I've received, and we're gonna have to talk about this. We got this video, let's just jump right into this. So here we have it right here. This is the bike I'm talking about. This here is an electric bike. It's from Electric Bike Co. And there's a lot that can be said about this cruiser right here. Now, first off, if you guys have been following me online, you know the type of bikes that I ride. And this one looks a little bit different. This is like a cruiser. This is like a beach cruiser. Like when I used to live down in Santa Barbara, everyone would like ride around on a beach cruiser. This would perfect. This would be the perfect like beach cruiser, electric beach cruiser for like a place like Santa Barbara. Now, check out this big freaking comfortable seat, yo. This is massive. Definitely the most comfortable seat that I've had on on any of my bikes. Right? Huge. Okay. Look at these handlebars here. I don't, know if, um, I don't know if you guys really pay handlebars much attention, but like normal handlebars on a mountain bike are like straight, like straight, okay? So when you have handlebars straight, you have to have those hands out so you're, you're leaning forward, right? Well, with these handlebars set back like this, you're sitting in like an upright position, right? Uh, I think I have one other bike that you sit in an upright position, but when you sit in an upright position, you're, I want to say it's like a safer way to ride because you're looking straight up and your body is not like sort of tilted down like this. You're like looking straight up. So like you can see better when you're sitting like upright, you know, um, another thing about this electric bike is it has, you know, the, the, the back rack so you can snap your pannier bags right on right on the back I just recently got a pair of pannier bags and I freaking love them they're, they're amazing you can put a lot of things uh, on the back with some pannier bags I don't know I, I haven't really noticed this but oh there, there's like this latch here so you can latch something down if, if you really wanted to um now for the most part who is this bike made for because I think this is really really important right because like I say this is a very very different bike I would say this bike would be perfect for like, you know, maybe a suburb area or beach town. Now this right here, this is this would be an okay bike for San Francisco just because it has a massive comfortable seat, right? And if you're, you know, if you're older, one thing I've noticed, it seems like the older, like older people are taking advantage of the electric bikes, um, the electric bike revolution more than the younger generations. Whenever I'm in Facebook groups, I'm always amazed at how many like people in their 50s and 60s are like out buying bikes and like riding bikes and like sharing videos and like, oh, I just got this bike and I can't wait to, I can't wait to pull the trigger on this one. You know, can't wait to pull the trigger on this one in the bike Facebook groups. That's like a huge thing people always say. And, you know, I, you know, I would love to, for more and more young people to jump on this whole trend because to see, you know, older people jumping on it and, and loving it is freaking amazing because a bike like this can save you a lot of money, you know, especially if you have like a car and you have insurance and stuff like that, you know, just cruising around on a bike could definitely save you, save you bucks. Something else to point out about this bike, I probably should have said this in the first like 30 seconds of this video, but it's okay because I don't know, maybe people pay this stuff attention, maybe people don't, but this bike is fully assembled in the USA, right? That's a really big deal because you guys know, like when things are made in the USA, when things are assembled in the USA, that's US jobs, right? So that's one, another cool thing to love about this bike. It's, this bike did not come from overseas. However, some of the, the components from this bike did come from overseas, it did, did come from other countries. There's a lot of bike parts that we don't manufacture in the US. Um, so I don't necessarily know if, um, you know, if you could get a bike that's 100% made in America. And if you, if you, you, yeah, you definitely can, but they're, they're definitely going to cost more. And probably some of those parts will still be from other countries. I mean, we're like a global world now. So like, I don't think one country just like makes like everything, but like, I don't know, may, maybe they could, but that is definitely another thing to point out made in the USA. And now uh, there was a, a big difference with that. So when I received this bike and I did an unboxing video, I actually did an unboxing video on my other channel, my cycling channel, which 
I will have more reviews of this bike on the cycling channel um, because that bike that channel is just for bikes when I did an unboxing of this bike I was blown away at how fast I was able to unbox it because by this bike being assembled in the US right I think it was assembled in North Beach California that they they they, they, they built the bike it was um they, they shipped it different like they shipped it on like they, they shipped it different like when, when you order a Chinese bike what they do is they they try to make the bike smaller so they can stick more bikes in the box in the shipping container box so it'll be cheaper so when they ship it across the ocean they can have like more bikes in there right so it'll be cheaper but if it's made in the u.s like they don't you don't have to necessarily go through all that 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 extra work of trying to make the bike smaller before you ship it you can sort of ship it in a larger box because you know you're you're it's less um you know it's going from north um what new point uh new point beach california to like san francisco that's not that far you know it's not like beijing to freaking san francisco you know so it's a much 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 shorter distance so it was super easy to open like they didn't it, it didn't have like a whole bunch of like plastic i'm like a lot of the other bikes i've received like i would spend like 45 minutes literally 45 minutes just cutting all the plastic and the, the bubble wrap off not at all for this bike it was like i just pulled it out of the box and i think i just like pulled it out of the box and turned the handlebars up and that was about it it was super easy um now one thing i must point out about this bike this is hands down the most comfortable bike that i have in my bike collection hands down that seat makes a massive difference now i think it's a little weird that i say that this bike is the most comfortable bike i have because this bike actually doesn't even have shocks so let that sink in for a second it doesn't have shocks and it's still like mad comfortable that seat probably has a lot to do with it now if you are riding this bike in the city or if you do want to you know get one of these bikes and you you know you live in san francisco or you live in new york or somewhere like that i would definitely recommend you you know change out these because i'm already afraid to ride this bike in the city because with this massive seat someone is going to easily steal this seat they'll just walk up pop this off and take the seat so if you're leaving it in the city i would definitely say you know get get an extra get, get, get a little bit more security for it and also with, with the basket um the basket is really really nice that it comes with a freaking basket like on the front already you don't have to like you know get a third party attachment or anything and then the front wheels the same way it got these quick release wheels i don't know what's up with these brakes but these brakes are very smooth they're not like any of the chinese brakes that i've i've, I've experienced on other bikes they're, they're just very different. I think these are mechanical brakes. Yes, they are mechanical brakes, which is really, really nice. You don't have to, you don't have to chain, you don't have to tighten them. They tighten themselves. And this thing just looks beautiful back here. They always look nice and clean when they're brand new, you know? <laughs> but after you've, you know, ridden them for a while and you've changed the brakes on them, they start to get a little dusty, but it looks beautiful now. It also has an alarm system on, on here. Now, I'm not really using the alarm system reason why I'm not using the alarm system because I um I take the bike indoors a lot and I wouldn't want it to go off like indoors I wouldn't want it to go off in the elevator I wouldn't want it to go off in like a building if this was a, a actual bike that I would keep outside like all the time yeah I would probably use the alarm system like like when I lived in Santa Barbara I would um I would never bring a bike inside of the house you know, it, it, it was just always places like in the garage or, you know, in the backyard. It was always a place to lock up a bike. And I usually lived on like the second or third floor anyway. But it just worked out like I would always like leave a bike outside. And living in San Francisco, like I just would not leave a bike outside. <laughs> you know, I don't even want to leave a bike outside for like five minutes locked up, you know, going into the supermarket. So it's a, you know, completely different, di different, um, ball game maybe if this was a bike that i would just leave outdoors like if i had a place where i would just you know leave it outdoors or like a, a garage or something something that's like not in my house maybe i would set up the alarm system and use it but i don't know it's not that big of a deal for me with the alarm system right now like i you know so what <laughs> um you know so, some people use it some people won't now one thing about the charger i don't have the charger with me because i just went out riding this one thing that i'm just have to point this out because i don't want people to i don't want to mislead anyone the charger is loud okay that's just one thing i'm gonna to have to point out there when i first got this bike and first plugged it up and heard the charger i was like oh crap 
I don't know if I even want to ride this because like I live like, you know, um, you know, I live like uh, in a building and you know, when I plug up the charger, it makes all this noise and it's not that loud, but basically it has a fan on it. If you guys don't know, a lot of these electric bikes, when you plug the charger up, the box on the, the battery, the box on the charger gets warm, right? Well, with this electric bike charger, by, it has enough, by it having a fan on it, it doesn't get warm, right? So it's actually a good thing to have the fan on. It's actually a, a, a great thing to have the fan. It's not a bad thing at all. But if you're just not used to it, it might be a little, um, it might be a little annoying. And if you are bringing the bike into your like house or you're bringing your bike into your bedroom to charge, I know a lot of people live in the city, you may bring your bike into your bedroom to charge and you may have your bike next to you, like, like, you know, next, next to your bed. Like, cause I have my bike like literally next to, next to my bed. Right. So I would not want to have to come home and listen to a charger for five hours after I've been riding the bike. Um, that's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Now, if you have a garage, right, or if you, you know, charge your bike somewhere else and it's not next to your bedside, that won't be a problem for you at all. You know, that, that won't be a problem for you at all because you would just charge your bike in your garage and you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, hearing the sound. But yeah, that's just something I, I would th I just want to throw out there. But it is like a safety feature. Um, you know, it is a cool thing to have um, a charger on there. Not a charger, but a, a fan on there to keep the charger cool. Yeah, but for the, for the most part, it's a very, very good bike. You see, like, the wiring. Look how a great job they did with all the wiring. They just got it all tucked under there, like, really good. And let's check out this control here. Right when you get on, you, like, start it up here, and you, you greet it with this. And then, you know, I got the about 50% battery. But to go faster on here, oh, it also tells you the temperature. To go faster, you have to literally, like, go bump. You have to, like, bump it up. And then now I'm able to go 20 miles an hour. Um, but if you stay in like the one position, I think you can go up to like 10 or 12 miles an hour. I don't know. Like the first time I got on it, I was in the one position and I was like, yo, I'm not going fast at all. Let's pump this bad boy up to five. And once I got it up to five, I was like, yippee. Yeah. Yeah. So for the most part, this is it. This is um, electric bike car. Like I would say, like this is um, this is a really really dope bike for someone who, like if you live in like a, like a beach town or if you live in, like um, you know maybe like uh, like suburbs, I would say maybe not the best city bike. Um, because for me, I really like the pedal. This is not the easiest bike to pedal. I'm just gonna keep it real. Um, this is just straight up cruiser. I don't like the pedal when I'm on this bike. I like to just sit back and like watch stuff and like know that I'm not going above 20 miles an hour, you know? And so in some of my other bikes, there's like certain parts of like the street, like I've got memorized where like I can hit like 35 miles an hour, like on my, on my other bikes, you know, because I like, you know, know like you can go downhill if you make this light, you're going up speed, you know, you're pushing it. But most people, are, you know, are not trying to go that fast. But, you know, me, I like to swerve, get through traffic. But, yo, if you're, if you're like, out, like, you know, just cruising, you know, you want to put your dog in the front, you know, if you're in your 60s, you know. Or if you, like, live in Santa Barbara and you're, like, a partier, you know, and you don't want to ride your beach cruiser up those some of those big hills because I used to live down there, get you one of these, yo. It's a really, really cool bike. Yeah. Check it out. And I also love this kickstand. Look how... Look how dope this kickstand is. That's like quality, yo. It like sticks out hella fire. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo.